I remember when I first heard of her. Her story was told around a fire. Her voice heard on the walls of painted folktales written in the deep caves, and the exposure of her sacrifice made her glory naked. The sacrifices left her body with scars. These scars reveal the glory of Africa. But before I tell her story, let me narrate history with a metaphor. Have you heard that Africa had a lover? That she was once broken and tribulation laid on her head like a crown? That she was once in chains stuck in ropes of idolatry until Africa lost her virginity? But you see, Africa did not commit adultery. Africa was raped, robed of what belonged to her, shaken by weapons that seemed unfamiliar. Africa was in jeopardy. Have you heard that Africa had a gown? The gown that was striped off naked by her lover, the one that made her pregnant. Then she gave birth to hope, but he killed that too. So Africa was left broken, but she pulled out through. So you see, these cars don't only write down history, but they reveal to us her power. She was being baked to fight back, her crown completes her attire. And so you must have heard that she is the birthplace of black, turned so dark, brewed by the windward nature of her typical sunset, blazed by her beauty and butter comfort. She is the birthplace of greatness. Her rage is like the rage of a dying mother in labor. Africa's glory feeds us. The tears of our forefathers flow like the slump of the Victoria Falls. Their sacrifice and blood has healed us. Like the wound of an Alsa, our stories are still fresh. Like the sun when it sets, we gaze upon her beauty each day. Her heritage is in our hearts. The air of victory she breathes is in us, moving down her body like roots of blood, connecting every one of us. She is a canopy of shelter for me, the building of the Negro flag, a conservative of cultures, diversities with no definite masses. So be reminded of this. This is who you are. Your glory is in your speech when you speak. Your glory is in the history books when we sing. We sing your anthem of honor. Your coronation is not contested. You rule Netherlands without competition. Your thrive is in your ability to stand. Oh, the great Africa. I wish your ancestors saw you coming. I wish they could see their dreams come into reality. What a vision they had depicted. Today, I am that dream. I am the manifestation of their zeal the zeal of the previous Africa. I am the glory, the thing they could not become, the peace they could not get. So be reminded that this is who you are. You are the glory because you are African.